Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Astalon, possibly for the final time. We'll see. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Uh, so, I actually completely forgot to show off one thing last time, which is the well, the final entry unlocked before the final two bosses. And that is Dalahan, of course. A, um, well, I guess optional mini-boss. Ultimately not super challenging, but pretty interesting, pretty cool design. A powerful centaur warrior who was given power by dark magic. Okay. Only 2,000 HP. He seemed to take quite a bit of damage, but I guess he was only damageable, you know, every now and then. Well, it's the same, yeah, it's the same HP as these rakuses, rakai, I don't know. Which are not specifically referred to as centaurs, just described as such, of course. Anyway, yeah, but this fight felt a lot longer, of course, because... He was only vulnerable at certain times. Right, anyway, yeah, the only thing left to see and then complete automatically will be the final two bosses. So we are done with this. We are done with uh, item and map completion. Um, and, uh, well, I have prepared. We are up here, ready to, well, take this final elevator up. Uh, before that, we are going to stop by this statue right here. I also made sure to have full HP. I actually specifically, purposely uh, died up here in the tower, then went back and you know collected my my orb to have full HP, which is obviously extreme overkill. As is, um, as you might, may already have noticed, the uh, orb count that we are starting our little final little shopping spree with. <laughs> um, yes, that is obviously completely over the top. Hopefully. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not really sure how much money I'm gonna need, but almost certainly not that much. So, uh, yes, completely unreasonable, but it really, it really didn't take all that long. Um, I actually, yeah, I, I mean, I su suppose I got a certain routine at uh, killing that golden armor over and over, um, and you know, plus it was literally possible to do that indefinitely with the recently acquired uh, standstill to heal ability. So, yeah, I, I did that for like. I don't know, half an hour or so? Not real, not much more than that, if anything. And, you know, that, that kind of thing... Well... Maybe tedious to some people? I find almost... Um... I don't know... Meditative, I guess? That's a real word. Uh... Yes. So we want to do some shopping. Anyway, you're completely upgraded. You are also completely upgraded. Wait, you are, right? Yeah, of course you are. Well, let's just go... In order. I mean, these aren't getting more expensive, but I mean, nothing compares to the, uh, to, to, like, Bram's attack power upgrade. Okay. This did escalate somewhat quickly toward the end here, with almost 11k for the final one, but I mean, still. Um, Bram has how many more to go? And he's already at almost 30,000, so that's gonna become very expensive before, before we're done with him. Also, we'll see. How quickly these ramp up? Um, quickly, I guess. Yeah. Then again, yeah, it never became that bad. Hey, fighter mastery, of course, achievement unlocked. Uh, next, Zeke, I guess, and he's yeah. As it turns out, mostly maxed out. Well, okay, this is actually already pretty expensive, and we're still we still have six more levels to go. Thirty-eight k. Okay. And that's that, uh, Collector Mastery. And finally, Ram. 50k, 65. Holy crap, this is not even gonna be enough! I'm one off. 110,000. Wow, this is, uh, not something I saw coming. That's really unfortunate, actually. I thought 500,000 would be complete over overkill and I would be left with probably 200,000 or so. Well, maybe more like 100,000, but still, this is, uh, yep. Okay. Not something I had seen coming. I thought I could just pump all kinds of leftover money into help-ups. Which I guess I'm gonna do anyway, because... Why not? <laughs> and one more. And... yeah. I wonder if there is actually a max to this. I mean, I suppose there probably is. Uh, maybe at 99 or so. Maybe it stops before that, because obviously no one is ever going to actually need all that health. 
Yeah, well, what do I do with that? Obviously, I have to... Well, I don't have to. I suppose it's really just for the achievement. It's not like having everyone maxed out is going to change the ending or anything. It's le At least that seems highly, highly unlikely. But... Um, Oh boy, this is the thing is it's not super trivial to get here. I mean it's it's not that hard, but it's kind of kind of annoying. And then I'm gonna have to actually kill that thing quite a few more times. The thing is I want to complete everything before taking this final step here. But at the same time I can always re reload my save file. So you know what? Screw it. Sorry, Bram, you're going to get upgraded and maxed out. The final freaking upgrade, of course. <sighs> Next time. Yeah. Or, you know, after I actually beat the game. Uh, yes. Yes. So this is it, huh? Our greatest challenge lies ahead. Are you ready? Well, let's hope so. Okay, we're all here. Nice. Al, I've been thinking a lot lately. About your pact with Epimetheus and your debt to him. I just want you to know that, despite how I reacted, I'm not angry just scared. I feel the same way. Everything has been strange since we got here. I want things to go back to normal, but what will happen to you? Whatever ends up happening to me will be unavoidable, but you will both get past it. You need to keep living and do whatever it takes to make things better for everyone. We haven't saved the village yet. Let us focus on that first and we'll deal with my fate after the people are safe. Don't waver now. We need to be ready for the sun for the showdown. We need to be strong. Oh, and yeah, also Zeke and Bram are just also there, I guess. It's really unfortunate that none of these scenes, none of the last couple of campfire scenes, or these almost penultimate, or not almost penultimate, I guess penultimate scenes here, include them in some way. I mean, maybe they will, but so far it seems like, you know, they're just not taken into account at all. At least they're being displayed, but, you know. Oh well. Alright, we can do this. Okay, let's show this guy not to mess with us. <laughs> Great, we're almost there. Get ready. Yep, nope, they're just not saying anything. And there he is, the Black Knight. Who is, of course, not going to be the actual final boss, but, um, well, I guess we'll have to deal with him first. You, prepare to die. My friends and I won't be beat by the likes of you. This ends here. Ooh, nice one. Okay. I mean, I do appreciate that even these more elaborate images do contain the extra characters. Oh. <laughs> Unfortunately, just ever so slightly out of range. Wait, what? <laughs> um, okay. I, okay. That time I actually did dodge. This not ooh, okay. Oh, he's just melting. You know what? Oh no, that didn't even kill him. <laughs> Thought I was gonna deal a lot more damage than that. Oh well. Um, okay. Um, I I guess I wanna yeah, dodge like that. And that's that. Okay. Well. Ooh, what? That's not looking good. Oh, get out. No! How could I be defeated? Uh, well, I mean, I did upgrade a lot. A lot more than I maybe should have. So there's that. But also you suck. I understand your suffering. But you don't have to do this. I... I must! You are fools! Sheep deserving only of slaughter! Oh, what? I hate you all! So your goal of revenge was was to kill the innocent? Stop the poison knight. The villagers did no, did you no wrong. Oh, I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. <laughs> I I won't die here. Not today. Oh, no, I can't die. I won't. Or will you? What is actually going on? Wait. Um. Is it over? Is he actually going to turn into the final boss? I thought we were going to fight the actual master of the Gorgons. Oh yeah, I guess we will, huh? 
No, the dormant gorgon, it's waking up. Rise. Rise, my prince. Unite your dying body with us. Oh, okay, a fusion of them. That works, I guess. Become one with the tower. And exterminate your enemies. What's happening? Brace yourselves. This is not over. You know... I feel like I should probably use everyone at least once. Oh, we're attacking those, I see. Don't have a boss health bar yet, though. Okay, dodge that one. Can I actually... Okay, you just destroy those. Can I... Yeah, okay. Can't throw blocks to deal damage for what it's worth. Um, I... Because I didn't wait long enough to... Oh no, the block <laughs> the block actually stops me. That's Oh? We have enemies spawning as well. I was expecting them to start dashing away as they as the normal version of them does. Okay, you know what? <laughs> this block is actually a problem. Uh oh. There, get that out of here. Um there, you haven't actually done anything yet. Okay. And of course you're not exactly the best suited to attack that thing. Uh oh. And everything's dealing so little damage, it's hardly really worth <laughs> worrying about. Alright, and we climb these? Yes, we do. Wait, can we even... Uh-oh. This is a little bit awkward. I guess Kuli could probably just stand up here and attack. Yep, sure. Sure can. Um, okay. Can also try to do a slightly better job <laughs> dealing, uh, dealing, dodging, you know, whatever talking and playing the game at the same time. Oh, wow, okay. Not done here. I guess I'm gonna keep switching things around a little bit more. I was not paying attention to the floor. Not that I think there is actually anything to see before those spikes shoot up. Where is there? Okay, that lightning is not aimed at me. Of course, I did reset my um, kill counter by purposefully dying before this fight, so Ram's damage is not where it could be. But, you know. Well, these are somewhat easy to dodge. Oh, okay, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, nice! This fight is... keeps going for longer than I expected. Maybe I should not be messing around so much and just try to finish things. Oh, okay, those crumble just from standing on them? That's a bit unfortunate. Um, as this effect that, uh, well, I suppose I'm, I can still hit him quite comfortably with Kyuli, or I can actually just do this. That works. Oh, hey, two achievements at the same time. Destroy all monsters and Snakehead. I was once again not e actually focusing on the boss's health bar, but <laughs> it's also a little bit jarring how this screen just popped up immediately, rather than finishing the, the death animation or anything. Okay, unlocks um, monster mode for... Wait, is something actually happening off screen right now? Complete the something mode. Unlock all other secrets in the secret menu. Okay. Okay, never mind. <laughs> some, some sounds were playing, but I guess it wasn't actually progressing in the background, which is good. <sighs> I guess we had probably unlocked monster mode for finishing the best area. That would make sense because monster related. Um. Yeah. Okay. So somehow... I, I can't move? Okay, good. Uh, somehow the Black Knight's body is restored to what it was before. It's horrible... his horrible transformation. Hmm. Don't tell me we're actually gonna make peace with the guy. Unless he was only being controlled by the Gorgons and isn't actually evil or something. It's over. I mean, he, I guess he used to be an innocent child who was just handed over to the Gorgons and raised by them, I suppose. Made into their tool. Well, I guess we'll see. It's over. It's finally over. Thank the Titans. Yeah, especially the Titan of Death. 
Yay, we can leave. Okay, and now you actually pipe up. I kill for a hot meal right now. Whew, I'm still alive. For now. Hmm. Well done, Arius. Cutie. And Zeke and Bren. Hell, what happens now? Let's not worry about that. I... Please don't go. Please. You don't have to go. We can figure something out. We can go far away from here. The Titan will never find you. Not sure if that's how it works. My fate was sealed a long time ago. But thanks to you two, I'm not scared. Shut up! You're not going away! I'm not good at goodbyes. You need to be, you need to be brave, Arius. People rely on you now. Take care of your families while I'm gone, alright? I want you two to live a long, happy life. Y you won't be helping anybody. Oh, so much for being friends. Also, wait, I was so focused on the dialogue. How did he actually get over there? Did he crawl over there this whole time and I just didn't see it? That's actually kind of hilarious. You miserable... You... You will feel the suffering you've caused. The pain. Ugh. I will make you feel what I have felt. If it's the last thing I do... I'll kill you! No! Actually... If the pact with Epimetheus is still in place, are we just gonna respawn... again? But, I mean, the Gorgons are still gonna be dead and everything, so... Thanks, I guess, for killing us? Epimetheus! You have completed your task, and I have come to collect what I am owed. Owed? Isn't my life worth the countless souls I brought you? Hmm, yes, a small delight. But those souls are weak, mere droplets in an ocean. You, on the other hand, to acquire a soul like yours, that is something I cannot relinquish. I served you for years. I deserve I deserve more from you. <laughs> Bargaining with demons, huh? I've heard enough. A deal is a deal. Your soul is mine. Well. Oh, what? The little familiar. What? Took his place somehow? Uh, what? What is this? You know what that is. A part of my soul. I, I, did, did we know that? <laughs> Trickery. You play a dangerous game, Malgus. Part of my soul is bound to this creature. You will have to wait for the rest, I'm afraid. In other words, you won't be seeing me until I'm ready, until I'm ready to die. Farewell, Epimetheus, and thank you. Algus! No one has ever dared to trick me before. <laughs> Algus, you have earned yourself some time. I will let you go for now. But I could get you, if I wanted to. But someday, I will come to claim what is owed. Farewell. I look forward to the day we meet again. And try to not step into too many spikes, I suppose, or that day might come sooner than Algus would want. Okay, so ultimately, I guess the good ending depended entirely on finding the four... Zeke, what are you doing? Hiding behind Kili. On, on finding the four... Four? Three? Four? Maybe only three rooms uh, with the old guy, who might or might not be a time-traveling old Algus. Come back to save his younger self, I guess. Okay, uh, uh, game by Madcap and John LePage. Le 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 awesome game. Um, wait, huh? Oh, I guess it's just the villagers finally having access to clean water again. Not really sure how, what they did, how, how they did survive as long as they did. If literally all water was poisoned. But, uh, well. Also, nice detail. Kyuli actually wearing those uh, climbing claws as, as boots. Alright. Zeke opening an actual shop. Okay, Brem is also there. <laughs> and Arius, of course, looks more like more than Mega Man like than ever before. <laughs> Alright. 
celebrating with some actual food. No offense, Algus. <laughs> special thanks to moms and dads and brothers. But where are the pets? No special thanks to pets. Thank you for playing Eslon. No, thank you for making Eslon. What a blast. That is really... I mean, I have very little negative to say about the game. In fact, I'm... I mean, yeah, there's the occasional glitchiness. Very, very minor, though. Nothing ever really got in the way. Two more achievements just popped up. Vanquisher and God of the Tower. Oh, boy. Okay. Ending two. Oh, wait, I... I never watched ending one. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no, okay, this is ending two. A ending one was the, like the, you know, <laughs> joke, bad ending. Okay, uh, unlocks the Black Knight game mode. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, I w I'll tell you right here now, I am not going to play through the entire game again on camera. I might very well do that off camera, mm, which is not something I do a whole lot, even if it's, you know, completely... If it's game modes that completely change the experience. Um, okay. So we're still missing complete the monster mode and the Black Knight mode. That makes sense. Um, boss rush mode. Take on all the Taurus Gorgons, one by one. Okay. Uh, this one unlocks, unlocks monster mode, right? I wonder what the final one is going to be then. Hmm. That takes quite a bit of effort. Monster mode. I suppose both Monster mode and Black Knight mode would uh, give you endings, you know, different endings, endings three and four, uh, respectively. I suppose would make sense, of course. Um, I mean, obviously the endings have to be different somehow. Not really sure how Monster mode even makes sense, but I guess we we learn as soon as I uh, start a Monster mode game just to check it out. Huh. Yeah, but anyway. So I mean, I I hope it it was. Became very clear throughout the game, uh, the well, the playthrough, that I enjoyed it a whole lot. I mean, it has all the things that I'm looking for in a game like this. It, you know, it. I love the way it looks. The music is great. Um, it plays very smoothly, with the, you know, exception of the very occasional difficulty climbing on ladders and the like. Um, I don't know. That might very well be an issue more more with my own dexterity and also my controller, perhaps than necessarily the engine, but, um, you know, we, we all saw that uh, just failing to, to grab a, a letter or, you know, grabbing, maybe holding on, gr grabbing one when I wasn't really meaning to, uh, threw me off a couple of times, ca caused me to step into a couple more spikes than I normally would have, but, I mean, again, no big deal whatsoever. And uh, I guess that might have been what else was there. I suppose before I got the bell, which, you know, in the grand scheme of things, um, happened relatively quickly. Going, Having to go back to the bonfires or the campsites to switch characters and, you know, doing a little bit of backtracking um, to, you know, solve puzzles using the different characters was maybe a little bit clunky, but obviously it all made sense as soon as we actually did get the bell and everything opened up from there. And, you know, because it was slightly tedious before that, it was finding the bell was was even more of a reward for it so you know i guess everything has its pros and cons anyway let's um okay secrets is obviously just going to be this again right clear well i suppose i can just override my oldest wait i would have to delete it first i guess yes that should be fine hopefully well it's too late now um, oh, okay, interestingly, the Black Knight, the, yeah, Black Knight mode is the second one here, even though it's the last one we unlocked. The Gorgons inhabiting the Tower of Serpents are given a young boy as a sacrifice. They decide to test his resolve by forcing him to ascend their tower and earning his own survival. Okay. And I guess he's probably going to be fighting the same bosses. Well, not himself, I guess, but the same Gorgons, except he's not going to kill them, I guess. They're just fighting him to test him. Uh, monster mode. A young Gargoyle grows tired of taking orders from his stone overlords and decides that it's time to take revenge. Okay, so it's just a random monster that decides to 
fight its masters and, I guess, ultimately succeeds. Although, of course, this could be super hard mode, I guess. Also, I mean, I guess with the Black Knight mode, it kind of makes sense since the Gorgons don't really want to kill him. Uh, so they would probably prevent him from actually dying when he, well, when he would normally die and allow him to try again. Basically replacing the Epimetheus mechanic. But how about monster mode? I mean, is this going to be you die and it's over? Because that would be really rough considering the length of the game. Although I suppose you can always save and just reload your save file. So it's not like it's, you know, a roguelike or anything. And Boss Rush challenged the Gorgons of the Tower once again. You know what? Let's uh, stop with this because this should be, you know, a relatively sh quick, well, thing, I guess. Because there are only so many bosses. The question, of course, is um, what kinds of upgrades do we have? How strong are we? Because um, I have no illusions about, uh, you know, the lack of difficulty I had with most of them was d primarily due to uh, well, all the upgrades that I have for, you know, playing very thoroughly and just, uh, you know, making a lot of money in the process. And of course finding all the other scattered little health and power upgrades. So the game gives us some free starting money, I suppose, and I can only assume that we are that we get to buy some upgrades in between fights. Or maybe we're just gonna fight the first enemy right here. We'll see. I mean why give me money at all if you're not gonna allow me to do anything with it, right? Let's see if I can remember how this works. This guy's gonna pop up next to my platform. I'm gonna have to Oh, okay, yeah, right, these things. And if I don't shatter them, they're gonna just pile up. Oh, wait, uh, that was I thought it was gonna be him surfacing there, but nope. Okay. Wait. Oh, I didn't want to be this close. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't great. Okay. Just be ready for his melee attack as soon as he comes out. Oh, okay, yeah, that's gonna be spikes. Ah. I keep trying to turn around quickly and failing to do so. Because you really have to not have been attacking for, you know, at least a short amount of time before the game actually allows you to switch the direction you're facing. Oh, okay. That was pure luck, honestly, that last dodge, but yeah, this fight, I guess, being the first boss is just not particularly dangerous. And there I actually got him. I should not have jumped off my block, but it was fine, I guess. Probably, probably not the fastest kill, but I guess we're not going for fastest times here. I, mean, I suppose maybe the game keeps track of fastest time, but there was no time limit, at least. But I suppose we do need to pick up the Red Gorgon Eye to even progress. Come on. <laughs> Wait, come on, give it to me. What? <laughs> Why is that so difficult to pick up? Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay. Oh, also you do have access to all the characters. Good to know. Uh, not that you would need anyone other than Elgos ever. So why can we even go back? Can you actually walk out of the tower in this mode? That would be kind of funny, but I mean, I suppose it wouldn't give you a new... Um, interesting. Uh, it wouldn't give you a new um, ending, because... There are no unlocks left. Take an item to help you on your journey, but choose wisely. Once you choose one, two others will disappear. So do I take... Well, obviously not the climbing class, because I'm not really planning to use Kyuli much. Don't really see how those will be very helpful in most fights. Movement speed, yeah, or just straight up extra damage? The question is, is this going to give me the fully upgraded one? Surely, right? I'm going to assume yes. 
Uh, yes, okay. So at least it's gonna always shoot. But touching a crystal, you will be taken away. To the next challenge, you will not be able to return. That makes sense. Uh, yes, this should give me, get me back to full health. I am going to get the extra money here. Although... Should I... I don't know if, if XP Multiplier actually applies to these things. I don't think it does. Anyway, I'm going to get the upgrades first. Wait, what else can we get? Knowledge? Police? Okay, it's interesting that it gives you access to all the standard upgrades, but obviously we won't, we won't really need most of these. Or, you know, most of these are not even gonna have any kind of effect. Except, one thing I never actually did, I, I, I thought about it, but I, then I actually forgot to to uh, buy it. Also because I, you know, surprisingly, unexpectedly, ran out of money to even buy the upgrades that I was planning to go, uh, to, to get before the final boss. Um, but there are, of course, which other ones? Death Wish and Inner Fire, I forget which one, I think. Inner Fire is the one that just increases your damage, but also increases damage taken, right? So this is honestly something I might want to get. So I expect that as soon as you die, boss rush is just over and you have to start over anyway, so it's not like, you know. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna risk getting this. Fire inside uh, burns too strong. Uh, too much will consume you, okay. Can feel it, it burns. Let's hope it's actually what I remember, what I, you know, that I actually remember correctly what it is, how that works. Again, ma magic expertise, extra missile size. Yeah, that's certainly not worth 500, right? I'm gonna go with at least one damage upgrade there, a um, speed upgrade that is, and as many damage upgrades as I can get, which is not that many, but you know, better than nothing. Well, I am gonna break this. Yeah, okay. I mean, I got it in only three ticks, which is fine, because that actually means that I can get back to full health, right? Yeah, it didn't upgrade health at all, so... Max health it is, and we still have the XP multiplier, and we should hopefully be dealing extra damage, so... We'll see. This enemy, huh? You know what? I think we might actually have to... Do we have to shoot the forehead? No. No, we just attack like this. Oh god. Yep, okay, that's the first... Five points of damage. What are you doing? Um, that's not great. Yeah, okay, you know what? <laughs> Oof. This fight I definitely don't remember. Like, almost anything about. Oh, okay, so you don't have to fully deplete his health bar. Wait, oh, it's this one. No? Never mind. I guess that's uh, how the fight ends with uh, that... Oh no, why did I do that? Okay, yeah, well. Obviously I have no idea what the the movement patterns of the worm are gonna be, so... It's just... Okay, it starts out pretty slow, I guess that's... That's nice, but yeah. One more hit and we're dead, so... Oh god, this is gonna be... Oh, that's the, the bombs, oh god. This seems way slower than the original fight. I don't know. Oh wait, is this gonna be the same arc again? Yes. Actually, and I missed every single shot. Awesome. Um. Oh god. Yeah, he's, he seems to be slower. I, I thought he was wiggling much more violently originally in, in, the, in the main game fight. Retry? But all the way from the beginning, surely. And thus, I, I was expecting him to give me more potential places to stand. But it really was only the one on the far right. I'm pretty sure there would have been nowhere else safe, except maybe up on those elevated platforms, but, well. Yeah, of course we start over. Um, I mean, I, do I even want to <laughs> finish this mode here, now, on camera? Not necessarily. Um, I, I kind of want to just take a sneak peek. Yeah, no, we're going to exit the game. I do want to beat this eventually. Uh, I suppose I, I kind of want to show off what the final unlocks are going to be? Well, that one final unlock, I guess. I wouldn't mind showing off the endings, but of course, um, 
unless the um, the monster and Black Knight modes are significantly faster somehow than the main mode, and that might be, but they're still gonna take a uh, you know significant amount of time to complete. Hmm. I suppose I could always append those append the the ending sequences to this video. I only have to remember to actually record them when I get there. Whenever that might be. But I at least want to, you know, start new playthroughs of those with those modes and just to see what is different. And just to show that off. And I suppose I don't really need to show off the extra endings and all the unlocks. I do like the kind of completion. You know, I do like to achieve that for myself and I will. I also like to include that in my Let's Plays. But, you know. I'm sure there are plenty of ab absolutely completionist Let's Plays out there, or just, you know, videos showing off all the secrets and all the unlocks for anyone interested. Um, anyway, no story short, uh, let's see... Okay, this is... yeah, makes sense, I guess, that... that, uh... Boss Rush mode would not even create a save file. Then again, why do we even need a... <laughs> need to clear up uh, a slot for it? Because I think you do have to, right? If I select a an already occupied slot, it's not gonna allow me to to even go to the selection. Oh well. Anyway, um, sure. Let's take a look at Black Knight mode. I'm almost more interested interested in the monster mode, just to see how that even works. If that actually is a one hit, you know, one one death and it's over mode, as it logically should be. But. Okay. Is this just going to be a repeat of uh, the memory that we saw? A sacrifice. Sad, is it not? That its parents would throw it away like this? Humans are scum. We shall feast. But this child is too small to eat. It will do the three of us no good. A feast is a feast, regardless of size. Silence! What do you propose? I propose to use the armor. If this child can be persuaded to help us, we could grow strong enough to break free of our bonds to this tower. Ah, very well. We shall tend to its broken and dis d diseased body immediately. Once the time has come, we will install the armor. And only if the child is able to overcome the trial of the tower will it earn its survival. But if it fails, we shall tear it apart. Right. This might actually be the exact same dialogue as before. I suppose we're talking about you know, using the armor and testing it. Many years will pass. The child will grow into an adult. The Gorgons will take advantage of his sadness and mold his mind until he only knows to do their bidding. Okay, so not actual, like, magical mind control, just good old brainwashing? Conditioning. Over the years, his memories of the village, the cult, his parents, will all be replaced with nothing but hatred. Now, fused with an ancient and evil suit of armor, the child is eager to pass the trials of the tower to prove himself to the Gorgons who inhabit it. The only family that he has ever known. And we start here. Okay, I have to? Yeah, no. Okay, you attack pretty quickly. It feels like... Oh, wow, yeah. It almost feels like a like two-stage jump, but I'm just holding the button. Yeah, there is no actual double jump. It almost feels like he, you know... Does a normal-ish height jump and then like accelerates for an additional boost upwards to almost you know twice the or maybe even exactly twice the height of the normal character's jump. Okay. Anyway, B costs him two health, but he shoots his little projectile. Can you do that in midair. Uh, yes, actually. Okay. Anything else? Well, Y doesn't do anything. Um, what else would do anything? Nothing, I guess. Okay, um, let's see here. Question mark, question mark. Knight. Well, suppose he must have had a name at some point. Ah, okay. Morning stars on automatically. Well, I mean, it doesn't make sense for it to literally be a morning star, but of course, it'll just have the effect of allowing his normal attacks to break yellow blocks, which, uh, you know, I guess explains a lot of their more puzzling placements. Also, I guess this time there was no Black Knight leaving the screen there, right? Press A to jump, thank you for the tutorial. He also seems to be moving faster, so I guess he ha That might be just my imagination, maybe not. His jumps are definitely faster than moving, right? 
Yeah. Okay, I could save here, but I guess I'm not going to because I still want to check out the monster mode. Of course, his attacks will break those. That makes sense. Okay. Honestly, his his jump might be almost too good. I mean, I suppose it's necessary to allow him to pass any spots where he'd normally, you know, he normally would have wall jumped and climbed. But it's very easy. I mean, even if I just tap the button, it's you know, it's very easy to, for him to jump very high and you know, bonk his head on the ceiling and whatnot. Okay. There's something strange about those those black orbs. Okay, so do I actually have to use this sacrificing health? I suppose I do. So I guess what you do when you when you get to a situation where you need to do that without enough health is you just can't progress. You have to either either have to find a way to heal yourself if that's possible, or die. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna try anyway. Save? No, you don't get healed. Oh, well. You don't get healed automatically. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be very easy to accidentally jump into ceiling spikes, for example. Looking forward to that. Okay. Wait, we didn't actually need that. Come to think of it. I was, as I w was pressing the buttons, I was wondering what actually happened when we originally did this. He absolutely could have just jumped to this ladder. Huh. Oh, okay. Good to know. Said Pox is actually not inside of his body. That, that makes sense. Couldn't we have actually just jumped over that thing there, the first platform to begin with? I guess we totally could have. Oh well. Why didn't I even try that? I don't even know. Alright. This is unlocked now. Wait. It's... Well, we don't have the key for it. Okay. Can even get that like that, and we can... Not make this jump? Oh, almost, though. <laughs> okay. I mean, we don't need to, actually. But can we... Mm, I suppose we cannot quite make it across that, huh? Yeah, we still have to use this key here. Okay, well, I mean, I am kind of curious to see what happens when you die. Also, yep, meta knowledge, of course, allows me to do this. Right. <laughs> Can you pick up blocks? No, you cannot. I suppose it's probably never going to be necessary for him to do so. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess picking up and placing blocks is really only ever necessary to gain just a little bit of extra height or to cross a spike pit that's just slightly too wide to jump, but I mean, both with jump height and width are enough to have no need for that, I guess. I mean, so far I haven't seen any way to actually heal, so I don't know, I guess we'll, we'll probably have to use the same mechanic of, uh, you know, okay, he can damage ghostly enemies, that's good to know. Um, the same mechanic of actually dying to become stronger. Okay, first instance of yellow blocks allowing slightly faster progress. Nope. Might as well get that, I guess. So what's happening here? Nothing. <laughs> Makes sense. This, I think... Oh, wow. Didn't expect to get hit there. Uh, this room rewards you for killing all the enemies. Such as they are. Yep. Oh, actually with a blue key. I thought it was only orbs. Alright, we can obviously head right over here. We do have a blue key, so... Kinda curious to see what the uh, what he's gonna say to the Epimetheus statue. We can of course do that, yep. And, oh, okay. Next HP plus one. Right. 
a terrifying statue peers into your soul with dead eyes. Oh, and that's it. Fair enough, I guess. He doesn't have a pact with Epimetheus. Epimetheus has no, re no reason to be particularly interested in this random dude standing in front of one of his many statues. So, yeah, okay. I guess I'm just going to... Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to kill myself at this point and to see what happens. I mean, it could be just game over, but then there has to be some kind of way to heal. Wait. Huh. And of course to upgrade, right? <laughs> no? This is literally just reset us to the last time we saved? Huh. Yeah, I guess so. Interesting. I mean, we start with only one attack and one defense. Obviously, there has to be a way to increase those. I mean, we can collect shards, sure, that helps. But there are, there are only so many of them. I suppose all the health shards combined do give you a, a decent amount of extra health. But... Hmm. I mean, for one, there are no defense shards, so... No way to ever reduce the damage you, you receive? Not sure if that sounds right. Also, why reward me with orbs and, you know, leave all the... Yeah, <laughs> of course you can do this. And leave all the, uh, you know, the, the the cubes, the orb, orb blocks, as extra rewards around when you have no way of using them. And yes, sure enough, you can just jump across this, and probably even skip this scene here. Well, you can't actually skip it, for it's worth. But I won. I was uh, thinking of just jumping to the other to the other platform, never landing in the middle. I guess I would have postponed activating the elevator. Not that you would want to skip that. Like, permanently. Anyway, um, I mean, there has to be some kind of progress mechanic, and I'm interested in finding out what it is, but this episode has already become long, and I still want to at least check out the uh, the monster mode. I guess what I could do is pause and keep playing for a while, maybe beat the first boss, and see what that does. Yeah, I mean, I suppose I could do that. That shouldn't take too long if I just if I really focus on it, right? Let's Let's give it a try. Okay, and before, this is a terrible mistake, because as you can see, I'm down to only 5 health. Uh, I have actually been gaining more max HP and more attack power as well. Um, there is no visible counter, but I'm guessing that it's either just the amount of orbs carried or the um, number of enemies killed that do increase those very slowly. Um, but I haven't found absolutely no way to heal. So that one's a mystery, and I didn't even see the stupid spike come out. I resumed the fight um, in the middle there because uh, I've actually been completely um, decimating that boss. Possibly even faster than, than I did with Algus, which is saying quite something. I mean, the Black Knight does deal a lot of damage, for what it's worth. I have found platforming to be, well, both obviously easy in many ways because he is capable of jumps that no one else would be... Oh, right, we, we have to watch this little sequence here. Actually, actually, much shorter than I seem to remember. Okay, never mind then. Um, but uh, it's so easy to over overshoot, especially single platform, you know, single tile platforms, um, because he moves so fast, even in the air. It's uh, kind of nuts. Anyway. Oh, didn't get those couple of free attacks in there. Wait. Yeah, this works, though. I mean, look at his health. Oh, okay. Just got hit by those things. I'm just gonna shoot some spikes. Yep, and I can't believe I died again. <sighs> yeah, I should have just. Uh, you know what? Never, never mind. I'm just gonna finish the fight off camera. I just basically I just only wanted to see if something special happened upon defeating the first boss. And it, I mean, there might something might happen. I'm hoping that it's gonna refill my health because, or and either that or allow me to actually spend my orbs on upgrades, but, uh, well, we'll see. And literally on my way back to the boss, uh, after I shot another one of my projectiles using up some of my limited health, and thinking again, how is this even gonna work if, I'm, if, I, if there's no way to heal myself? Literally then it occurred to me. No, wait, this blood doesn't work. Okay, but I... Maybe because this is a boss fight. Okay, so never mind. Um, but 
I have a strong suspicion that standing in pools of blood outside of boss fights is actually gonna heal the Black Knight. Because I feel like there's a message in the main game that didn't really end up mattering at all about the black armor. Like, uh, of course, that's the first time I don't manage to kill one of those orbs before it hits me. Okay, just to quickly test that theory though. There is a pool of blood not that far away. I just want to see if that's true. Because there are pools of blood, well, not everywhere, but throughout the entire tower, I want to say. And that would make a lot of sense. I didn't read all the messages, only the occasional one on this replay here, because obviously, you know, I figured, well, I technically, I know them all, and they all gave you various hints. God, can I... Am I even going to be safe in this pool here? <laughs> yes, it turns out. And it does heal you. At a reasonable rate. I hope it's percentage-based and it's going to speed up as I gain more HP, but... I mean, even at this rate, I suppose it's not usually going to be an issue. It's a, li a little bit mean that it's not actually working in the boss fight, but also understandable, I guess. But yeah, okay. Know that I... Know that? Okay, it's not actually... Unlike the... The heal that you unlock in the main game... Uh, why did I jump into that? I don't know. <laughs> Unlike the heal that you unlock in the main game, though, uh, it does not... Um, stop when you're in full health, apparently. Wait, I don't know. That doesn't seem to make a difference. I don't see how it would make a difference, but it's what it is. Okay, anyway. Why do I insist on killing the guy on camera now? I suppose at this point it would be very easy to do if I can't afford to take any hints whatsoever. Okay, got two hits in there. Okay. Oh, thanks for allowing me to get some extra hits in. And, nope. It's only those things. Wasting some time. Okay. <laughs> Almost jumped a little bit too early there, but... Fine, I'm sure. Okay, and one more. And he's dead. Now, what kind of reward do we get? I suppose we probably still get the the red Gorgon orb. I mean, it certainly looks like the Gorgon is dying. I guess he's just putting up a show for us. But we know, of course, that he's not actually dead. Someone must have rebuilt the statue in between this time and when the, the actual heroes arrived here. But, oh well. I mean, it's magic, clearly. You cannot collect that thing mid-flight mid before it's reached its final location. Lame. Okay, so now that I've learned how to actually heal, you know, arguably I could have remembered that hint about the, the black armor drinking blood or being healed. I, I think it might actually have said something like, literally, the, the black armor is healed by blood or something. I suppose technically, if I had been rereading messages and not just relying on me still, you know, knowing everything about the game there is to know, uh, somewhat, uh, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I don't know. Um, maybe overestimating, overestimating myself a little bit there. Anyway, uh, yeah, if I had just been rereading messages, I probably would have come across that particular one pretty early in the game. Uh, yeah, which would have been helpful. Anyway, now that I know that, and that I have found out that I do become stronger just by killing stuff, I guess. That's my best bet. Would fit with the character, I guess. Um, yeah, that, I can see how this is actually doable. Sure, I mean, yeah. In fact, toward the end, this might actually be become somewhat easy? Maybe? I mean, I certainly killed that enemy. That, that was very quickly when I got the chance to actually deal damage, so... Yeah. And I haven't even, haven't even tried my magic. Not even sure how strong that really is. It might be really good, actually. Just sit there and spam that at a boss, and it might die before it even gets a chance to do anything. And then being low on health might not even matter. Anyway, that's. Um, I'm gonna play around with that. I'm. I'm actually looking forward to continuing to, to. Yeah, just finishing the game like like that. 
basically rushing through. But it's still going to take a few hours, so not doing that on cam. And even though this is going to become a super long episode, but I guess that makes sense for the final one, I am going to play... I guess I'm deleting another save file. I mean, I suppose... Nah, I'm going to keep this one. Let's see. Sure, yeah. This should be the one. The oldest one. We're going to start a monster mode game just to see what's different. I mean, it should be very different. Hopefully it's not going to take me quite as long to figure out how you heal and power up in this one. Maybe the game outright explains it because it... Well, we'll see how different it's actually going to be. Ah, for many years, monsters were ruled by the strict orders of the Gorgons. They had no will of their own and were forced to carry out their master's bidding. I mean, for what it's worth, the particular monster we're fighting is actually a pretty nasty one when you encounter it as an enemy, so chances are it's actually not going to be super weak. <clears throat> one rebellious gargoyle had 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 enough. It would stand up and oppose its stone masters. And that's all the backstory we need. Start with 40 HP. Ooh, okay, that's neat. We can literally fly? Yep, infinite jumps, infinite flight. Okay, that should be interesting. <laughs> should make for a very, a very different approach to exploration. You can freely shoot while in the air. You cannot turn around while shooting, though? No, you can. Nope. Well, not by holding down the button, of course. Okay. It's kind of awkward to keep pressing down the attack button and repress the jump button with the same thumb, but okay. Something I can live with. No special attack on B yet. Nothing on Y. Okay. Um, Nevis. Okay. Even as a name. Not uh, the prettiest fella, but I don't know. Maybe he's pretty for a gargoyle. Monster. Yep. Okay. Well then, let's just, uh, well, obviously we can also skip, oh, interesting, it's a little, there was a little black box in the foreground somehow, then we quickly, like, we briefly were hidden by, okay, so no way to skip this, not, again, that anyone would want to, but we can, of course, skip the little tutorial section, okay, 10 damage per shot, obviously not super high damage, although, actually, is it less, or a lot less, than the Black Knight's starting damage? Maybe not. Plus, of course, the range advantage. Shot speed might be a little bit lower, but... Um, anyway, I guess we still have to do this. Of course, doors are still going to pose a... Uh, you know, an obstacle. Actually, do we even need to do any of this loop? There is a blue key to get, among other things, I guess. I suppose we don't really need this... Blue orb at all? Uh, blue orb, but <laughs> red orb, which is also called Gorgon Heart. But does point out the location of bosses. Are these the same locations though? Hmm. I guess um, it has the the actual Black Knight to fight, which makes sense if we're opposing the Gorgons. Right. Yeah, that seems. That's why it seems to look different from uh, what I just saw playing as the Black Knight, because it is different. Right. We have to actually take the loop around. Can we? Oh. Uh, we cannot actually climb ladders. That's gonna take some getting used to, I guess. I mean, it makes sense because we can literally fly, but still. There's no reason why he physically should be unable to grab a ladder if he wants to. We're also dealing 13 damage to these enemies, I guess. Enemies have different defenses, maybe. We're dealing 13 to those as well. Hmm. Did we gain? No, did not gain max HP. But the Black Knight certainly did at some point. Oh, white key required. Interesting. Ha! Huh. Well, that's, uh. Hmm. Not sure how that's gonna work. Right, there were no actual health orbs on the Black Knight's path, which makes sense. But surely those can't be the only thing. the only option for the, the monster to heal, right? I mean, I suppose maybe. That would make it pretty challenging. But that could also lead to situations where can absolutely screw yourself by just, you know, running out of those those things. Oh, he can totally break these, which is nice. Gives him free access to one of these shards as well. I honestly forget what the what that blue ring even does. What was that thing? Nothing super crucial, was it? 
Honestly, I don't remember. It's not... No, no, no. It's not the what you need to activate the... The elevator. That's uh, an actual elevator key, and I'm pretty sure you find that up here. Up this little outside section. Right. Okay, well, there's a white key that I could actually get. I suppose there's no need for us to activate the... You know, those, those demon... Those red demon eyes. Red eyed demon faces. Uh, because that only led to the item that allowed us to uh, hit ghosts, right? But we can already do that as both this guy and the Black Knight, so... Okay. I keep uh, wanting to just hold the, the jump button down to fly, but you have to actually repress it. Okay, well, this is interesting. We have... I'm not sure if, if it's actually possible that there is no way to heal. Could that be? I guess I can quickly visit Epimetheus just to see if there's anything happening there. Probably not, though. I mean, our damage is definitely going up from something. It's kind of unfortunate that it doesn't display that here. It still displays one and one defense and attack power, but I guess our stats are going up. Again, maybe from... Oh. Well, that explains that, I guess. Yeah, our health has also gone up by five. So we will just randomly get health drops from enemies. Okay. I don't know if that's good or bad. I mean... <laughs> I guess that means that in a pinch we can sit down to farm, but that was the first one we saw. And, you know, we've killed a couple of enemies here. A good number of them. So those drops seem to be pretty rare. Maybe a little bit worrisome. But yeah, that, I mean, almost certainly means that we're not going to be interacting with Epimetheus at all, which makes sense. Here we can actually just squeeze our way through like this. Has a nice little... Oh. Oh god, but that was awkward. <laughs> Weird. He, I could not uh, walk through that gap. While sitting on these... Okay, now it works. Yeah, not sure what was going on there. Certainly, yeah, I mean, there's no reason why that should have blocked him at all. His hitbox is certainly not bigger than, than it appears or anything. Terrifying statue. Okay. Can we destroy fire? Can, can we? Nope. Not at all. Okay, well, I guess that concludes this. I mean, I don't expect this to be... Either of these playthroughs to, to be... Offering any more major surprises until the very end. I mean, obviously, there, there are going to be... Unique end scenes. For both of them. But again, that's... I mean, a full playthrough still. Obviously, we can skip a lot... Thanks to, well, in this, in this guy's case, being able to fly, of course. Skipping a bunch of otherwise crucial upgrades. As well as being able to break those yellow blocks. But we're still going to have to press a bunch of buttons, collect a bunch of keys. And, of course, beat all the bosses on the way up. Will we, will we have to actually go to the basement, I wonder? Was there, in the end, anything crucial to be found? We found Bram, of course. We found the golden armor. We found the... Golden key, but that's all optional stuff. I guess in the end, the the basement did turn out to be optional, wasn't it? Didn't it? Huh. I guess I'll try to focus entirely on just climbing up on both this guy and the Black Knight, and we'll see how far I get. I'm, I'm guessing that we can actually do that, which will, of course, speed up the game or the playthrough significantly. Uh, so I have been playing around as the Gargoyle, as you can see. Uh, just doing some exploring, have not actually beaten the first boss yet, but I've been collecting some stuff. And um, I also decided to make my way down to this little guy here, because I wasn't sure if that was the same way in the main game, in the, in the main game mode. But I noticed that both uh, the monster and the Black Knight start out without the bestiary, and... Uh, well, it turns out that, yes, you do get the bestiary after first talking to this guy. Uh, also, uh, I then learned that the bestiary is fully unlocked right off the bat. Um, and that means that you immediately get the reward for all the base area unlocks combined all at once. I'm not really sure that ever does anything for you in these modes, but there we go. I knew you had it. Anywho, yeah, thanks, buddy. Um, 
I mean, I as you can see, my strength has actually increased to two because I collected a strength shard. But attack power also goes up, uh, seemingly completely um, separate from that from that number. So yeah. Also, I might actually be stupid and maybe health only goes up from actually collecting health shards, of which there are a lot. So I suppose that's still good. But um, I don't know why I thought that I had previously noticed it going up just by itself. That might not be the case, although I'm pretty sure it does for the Black Knight. But I don't know, maybe not. Either way, uh, they do become stronger. Uh, attack power definitely does increase on its own, so that's that alone is good. Um, but most importantly, um, I mean that the thing about the bestiary starting out unlocked is really only you know a nice little side effect. However, it does allow me to do one thing that I obviously forgot to do, and that is check out these last two entries, which I you know obviously still owe you. So we have the Black Knight with 2,500 health. Uh, with no orbs, because I guess you don't really need any orbs once you're done with that guy. Abandoned by his parents, this child was raised by the Gorgons to hate mankind. Yes. And then, okay, we have the Blackheart Medusa, which unfortunately shows a very lackluster, almost invisible image of just what it looked like in the background before it became active. But I guess there are multiple phases to it, so it's not really... You couldn't really show one single image. I guess they could have chosen one of the more interesting looking ones with, you know, the stone partially um, crumbled away, but oh well. Blackheart Medusa, a dormant Gorgon reawakened when fused with the Black Knight. Okay, 5200 HP, also no orbs. Well, there you go. Not super exciting, but uh, you know, that obviously was uh, still missing. Anyway, um, yeah, back to just replaying the game, I suppose. And um, I guess I'll see you in just a moment with probably, possibly, uh, one of the uh, remaining ending scenes. Okay, just just in time to actually catch the death of the Medusa as monster. Well, I suppose we get an extra graphic, but no ending text whatsoever? Huh. I suppose there wasn't much of a story to this mode to begin with. So maybe there is a little bit more to the actual Dark or Black Knight. Um, I suppose our monster friend did it. He defeated his his monster his mo monsters his monster masters, I guess, his uh, slavers, and is now free. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay. I suppose he also happened to save the humans at the same time, albeit as a side effect. Okay. Can we skip these? Speed these up at all? Not that I expect there to be anything special at the end of this. Hmm. Well, okay. That was that. Um, the final boss actually was pretty challenging, pretty tough. Uh, took me a couple of attempts. Uh, of course, the very first time I got, you know, within like five more hits of killing it at only half health. Then I went went ahead and actually farmed for you know a while to almost full health, and then it took me like three four, three or four more attempts to finally defeat it. Um, so yeah, that was a bit of a struggle. The way there, not so much. It took me just over two hours, and that was with a lot of extra exploration. It can be done a lot faster, um, for sure. So you can really skip a lot. And I'm, I never quite figured out what, um, what caused my damage to increase. Oh, Lost Souls. View a gallery of unused monster sprites. Can we just do that? Oh yeah, I guess. Okay. Sure, I guess we'll do that now. A Brainiac. A Husk Centipede. Centipede Man. Okay, that one's a little bit unsettling. A Creep. Dark Mage. Looks pretty cool. Demon Hand. Alright, we got some somewhat similar enemies, I guess. An Esper. Executioner. A Flight Bat. That one looks a bit... I don't know, this one doesn't quite seem to fit the art style of the rest of the monsters, does it? I know, there's something about it. I guess it wouldn't look too out of place. I don't know. A frog? And not much of a monster, is it? A mutant? Okay. An old green thing. Old green thing? I mean, I don't know, the monster looks maybe a little bit too cartoonish. Also, the name could use an overhaul. But, I don't know, apart from that, yeah, I don't know. 
<laughs> Graphical styles vary a little bit, I suppose. Old jumper, as in... Uh, is there... I guess there are newer versions of jumpers that are actually in the game. Not sure about green things. Hmm. Old Ostrom, okay, I see. Old Poison Heart, yeah. Okay, I can see where the newer versions that, that are actually in the game of all these old enemies look better, more detailed for the most part. Pillar Head, okay. Reaper, well, we have the actually threatening looking large Reapers, I suppose. Instead, Scarecrow, that one's legitimately cool and scary looking. <laughs> Sheet Ghost, yeah, well, we have similar enemies. Skull Rat, Spider, oops, uh, Stranger. Mm. Because it has a head similar to the the monsters from Stranger Things. <laughs> mm. And the Thief. Okay. I mean, most of these enemies I could easily see actually being in the game. They could have just... I suppose these are only designs. They're not fully animated or anything. If, if they were, they probably would have put them in the game rather than just leave them out. I mean, the tower is certainly large enough to, you know, allow for an, a couple extra monsters. I mean, the, the enemy variety as it is in the game is already amazing, actually. That's one of the things that I definitely find praiseworthy, and I, well, didn't praise earlier, so I, I did now. So yeah, definitely a, a huge amount of, of different enemies. Um, far above average, I would say. So yeah, that's definitely great. Okay, anyway, I still have to uh, defeat the... Uh, Wait, not this one. Uh, I defeat, have to defeat the boss rush mode. Well, I suppose not for an achievement. Hmm. All other secrets on the secrets menu. Beat all the modes. Okay, so this one does require the boss rush mode. Right. It just doesn't list it separately, of course. Yeah, and then, of course, um, the Black Knight. Well, I'm guessing that that one, I mean, I suppose there was a bit of a of an intro sequence to the monster mode, but it was obviously very basic. There, there's obviously a lot more story to the Black Knight, so I'm hoping that there is going to be a bit more once I beat the game in Black Knight mode, but there might not be a whole lot. I mean, there's probably not going to be a, a huge amount, but I'm really curious about this, so obviously, yes, I am going to continue. Uh, probably not going to beat the Black Knight right now. I might try my hand at monster mode a few more times, perhaps. We will see. Anyway, um, all of that is going to continue off-camera, of course, so I will... Yeah. I will do these things when I find the time, when I feel like it, and... You will see the results in just a moment. So, I actually made it to the top of the tower, as you can see, as the Black Knight, which was um, not as easy as I first thought. The first part of the tower was actually super easy, but the last bit of it, um, like just before the final boss, uh, the, the well, the, the final Gorgon, I suppose, the, the green one, uh, that that was rough. Um, I don't know how many times I had to retry, and there's such a long stretch without any save points, and... Well, okay, it's done. That's what counts, and I'm only recording this because... Well, I suppose we can't really fight ourselves, right? Nor can the Black Knight fuse with the, with, uh, the final Gorgon. So... Well, I'll see. I guess uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I also did actually beat the boss rush... Um, in the meantime, and, uh, well, that was not fun. <laughs> well, that was just extremely tedious because it just takes so long to go through all of it again. And I had to redo it so many times before I finally get just a good combination of items and just good luck. And I guess I didn't suck. That helps. But, um, yeah, that second boss, that second Gorgon, the one with the flying snake thing, that's what... Where where I had to, you know, where I died basically 90% of the time. Anyway, okay, ramble over. Um, let's see, prepare yourself, knight, as you will face your greatest challenge yet. Will I? Okay, it is actually some sort of black knight. Is it different? Or is it literally a copy of us? Okay, that was dodged by pure luck, okay. So far, these seem like the same kinds of attacks. He has a lot of hit points. I guess I could use my my own projectiles. Although, okay, he's almost off screen. I don't know if that's intentional. I'm just gonna sit here and tank 
You know? Ah. An attack that I know isn't going to deal a ton of damage. Yeah, okay, so this first attempt might not actually work out. Although it almost did. Hmm. Okay, at max height I can actually get him there. Oh, oh wow. Well, I can't believe I was not hit there. Okay, let's, um... I might not want to be stuck between him and the wall here. I guess that was okay. Get hit there. Okay, he's landing. Come on. Oh no! No! That got me! Crap! I don't. I didn't think I was gonna take contact damage there. Okay. Yeah, I took contact damage a few too many times, and that's really what what hits by far the hardest. Because oh boy, even normal enemies toward the top of the tower dealt like 15 damage. Contact damage when their normal attacks would just deal, I don't know, five or so. <sighs> okay, uh, I guess I'm gonna get this guy down to very low health and resume recording from there because, well, obviously, this video, if I, you know, once I stitch together all the different parts, is gonna be super long anyway, so I'm not gonna have multiple attempts on video here. But, um, you know, it's, it's basically the same fight anyway. Obviously, it does play differently depending on what character you use. And, um, yeah, one-on-one -on -one melee with almost no range uh, is definitely um, the toughest so far. But, uh, well, we'll see what comes after. I guess that's what it comes down to. I'm kind of hoping that this is the final challenge. And because I can't really see, I mean, it wouldn't make sense for this fake Black Knight to fuse with the Gorgon, right? We'll, we'll see. If it is actually the full, the full boss fight, that's that's gonna be rough. But we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna risk resuming here. Uh, basically, <laughs> after a few more attempts, you know, trying to fight him legitimately, I figured, you know, why not just try? Why not try just spamming my projectile and see how that goes? And well, <laughs> as it turns out, if this really is the fight. Oh, yeah. Achievement just popped up. The Black Knight. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, you know, I tried several times legitimately, and <laughs> in the end, I just, uh, you know, <laughs> did what probably 90%, 99% of players ultimately did. Uh, so I don't feel bad about that at all. I mean, okay, so I guess Monster Mode was actually really fun and very easy. Um, no struggle whatsoever. Boss rush mode was... Well... It, it relied way too much on randomness, basically. And that second boss is just so, so rough. He takes forever to kill, even with some basic, very basic damage upgrades that you can afford by the time you, you get to him. Um, you get so few attacks, so few opportunities to attack that worm in the second phase. Um, I tried all kinds of different characters. Ultimately, I did beat the challenge or the the boss rush as Algus, but boy, was that was that a struggle! And again, very luck dependent. Um, and this this uh, Black Knight mode actually was legitimately challenging um, because you know he he is strong and he's very mobile sometimes to a fault because it does make uh, fine you know like. Uh, Precise movement. Uh, pretty difficult sometimes. Anyway, um, so he, he's strong, but he's nowhere near as strong as any fully leveled up character in the main game. So, yeah. And I'm really glad that this is not the full final boss gauntlet kind of deal. Anyway, well done, child. Thank you. You've completed your trials. Okay. The trials have been completed. You have done well. Your power grows even now. Go forth. Accept your revenge on the ones who gave you up. Gave you up? Excuse me? Not like they had a choice. The ones who abandoned you. And let them 
and let them come looking. Once they approach these lands, they're as good as food. Yes. Once we can escape this prison, we will never go hungry again, and become strong enough to kill even the titans. <laughs> go on, child. Show us what, a, what kind of monster you have become. Honestly, he has not really become much stronger by the time we face him as the heroes. Also, that scene never happened? Wait, oh, that's, uh... Oh, is that him stabbing Cooley, actually? Okay, never mind. I thought, what kind of monster is that? It looked like some sort of jellyfish, but... Yeah, okay. It's, it's been quite some time since I actually saw that cutscene very early in the main playthrough, of course. Oh yeah, and by the way, um, I was kind of puzzled by that one empty room that looked like a bus room, right? With those three faces in the back. And it later occurred to me that that is just the place where th those cutscenes take place. Where those three still, uh, you know, trapped in stone gorgons are debating or discussing the, the Black Knight's fate, basically. So, yeah. That's all it is, I guess. Just a, a lore room. I guess I'm gonna wait for these crits to roll by one final time for some reason. Oh, and by the way, by the way, I did. Meanwhile, well, while you know, playing through the game multiple times, I actually looked at all kinds of spoilers because, well, there's not really much to spoil anymore at this point. Um, I think I've actually 100%ed it at this point. Oh, actually, we should... Hold on, never mind. We should uh, still see the final... Uh, secret unlock thing pop up right now. And there's the final achievement. True Titan. Thank you, game. Gaze into... What? Final scene? Ooh, the final scene showing events that take place in the future. Okay, I'm... Guess I'm glad I did all this. What is this dimensional mirror? Gaze into alternate realities. Um, oh. Estelon Jr. What? <laughs> Super Estelon RPG. Tears of the Earth. Your poison comes from another tower. You know what? I wouldn't mind a mini game like this. Okay, mini bosses. Yeah. Burning Emblem. <laughs> Uh, Arias, alternates, okay. I mean, are they just fun little, I don't know, doodles or, or were, were some of them actually considered to be the final sprite before they settled on, well, the design as, as he appears in the game? Who knows? Hmm. Huh, I kind of like the, the Master Algus. Eye patch is kind of cool, I guess. Hmm. You know what? They all... They all have something in their own right. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I like the... Oh, actually... Yeah, there are some, some good Culis here as well. I like the one with the, with the bandana. Or headband, or... Is it a bandana? I don't know. Um, I like the one with the just the open hair and the dagger, like the second from the left and, and the top row. Not sure about the one in the dress. That seems inappropriate for an adventure, but okay. Uh, I still on the crystal sword. Hmm, wait, the crystal sword? What's that referencing? Not entirely sure. Astalius, the second lighting, lightning. Okay. The old man. Hmm. I mean, I suppose we never did learn what exactly was up with him. But, well, I'm still hoping for that sequel or prequel or anything, really. Any new game from the creators of this one. I hate you all. I mean, uh, uh, I'm not sure what that word for hating is. Yeah, my Japanese is very rusty. Okay, anyway, uh, final scene. Use from the main menu. Okay, if you insist. Not sure why it, we couldn't just select it from there, but, you know. I'm sure the game has its reasons. Um, it 
seems you have deviated from your path, child. What ugly child. I am exactly where I need to be, Titan. I've come to enlist your service. <laughs> to enlist my service? <laughs> Though I am intrigued about how you ended up here. I am not willing to play along. Be gone. You misunderstand me. I am not asking. You threaten me, child? Do you know what towers before you? I am death. I am eternal. Hmm? So, you are familiar with what I hold in my hands. Let us begin. Episode 3 preview? No? Yes? I mean, I guess, if it's supposed to take place in the future. Um, <laughs> okay, that's quite a tease. I was expecting something a little bit more directly connected to the events of this game. But I don't think that I... that we have any way of knowing who that mysterious child is supposed to be. I, was, I mean, I was briefly thinking, is it actually the Black Knight? Did he survive? I mean... God, it's, it's not been that long. But what did actually happen? Did he die in the end? He was still evil, right? It's not like he suddenly turned good or something. No, no. Okay, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's not supposed to be something you can figure out. It's just, you know... Hopefully gonna be... A, gonna, gonna appear in the sequel that will definitely come out eventually, I'm sure. Okay, anyway, that's, uh, well, pretty much all I can show off about this game. Oh, right, I was just about, right, earlier I was just starting to talk about, um, you know, looking up stuff. I like, like I was trying to figure out, trying to find information on what exactly, uh, how exactly um, the monster and the Black Knight become stronger. And it seems to be that, like, there's just no information whatsoever Exactly, I, f I found exactly one mention of someone speculating that it's probably based on the number of orbs held, which is kind of what I was guessing as well. Either that or just some general measure of progress, maybe rooms rooms explored or checkpoints reached, you know. I considered a, a couple of different possibilities, but I guess number of orbs held makes sense. Um... But yeah, as I was just looking up random stuff, I found a reference to apparently a super secret area. And I'm pretty sure I know where it is. I've also actually recently gotten a comment about, well, with a non-spoilery hint as to the existence of a uh, secret area that is not actually, uh, that you cannot find with the, uh, the help of the ring that detects secrets. So very sneaky. But it's, you know, it's obviously not... A part of actual uh, well, completion. It's just Easter eggs, like a, a dev room, I, I'm guessing. I haven't been there. I've been considering going back there, but I feel like this is long enough, and you know, go ahead and play the game for yourself. I mean, um, I, I'm hoping, if you've watched up to this point and enjoyed it, that you had already played the game for yourself because this is, you know, a wonderful game that anyone interested in this kind of game should experience, but, you know, maybe not. Maybe you just experienced it through me, which, uh, you know, makes me feel honored. Um, either way, I think I'm gonna end it here. This is long enough. I am probably going to take a look at that secret area myself. And I'm sure if you're interested, you can find it somewhere. Anyway, long story short, I thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this this journey. Um, as always, please leave me a like if you did. Uh, leave me a comment. It's always appreciated. And I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.